What's up everybody? Thanks for all your support and checking out these videos. Thank you so much if you've been uh, praying for my left knee. It's feeling better. Many of you, and I'm humbled that you've been asking this, you've been asking where you can come along the route and the marathon and, and cheer me on. Today, we're gonna take a little trip and I'm gonna show you different spots. Now, it's not a repeat of episode five. Episode five is called Hometown Route. And in that episode, I, I walked you through the, the potential spots that I would, I would go to and where I would be and the reason why. Today's not that, it's just simply, hey, here's a spot where you can park and get out and cheer me on. So, let's go. The first stop is four miles into the race. Christy will meet, we, meet me, make sure I got my liquids, and I'm right here at Hamilton West High School, home of the Hornet's Nest. So Hamilton West, this is on Clinton. So four miles in, first checkpoint. Made it through Trenton into Martinsville. I decided that I'm gonna come across the Trenton Makes Bridge. And then as soon as I get across the bridge, I'm gonna get on the dike and then run all the way down to the Calhoun Street Bridge, which is right there. There's easy parking. It's right by the, the Marsville Water Tower. So you're gonna be able to get out, park your car, and hang out right there for a little bit. Nice little bench for you too, to sit down and relax. I'm thinking about you. 12 miles into the run, I find myself at Marsville High School, the place I graduated from. So. This is uh, a great spot, obviously plenty of parking. Uh, as you can see, uh, I'm going to be running right in front of the high school so it's easy to get to on Palmer. And then look at that, look at that behind me, even stadium seating for the spectators. I told you, I take care of you people, I take care of you. So, Morrisville High School, uh, mile 12 in the marathon. On to Yardley. After I leave the high school, I make my way down to the Delaware Canal towpath. The next best spot to catch me is up in the Yardley area, right on Black Rock Road. And the canal path goes right through this little area. So I am here, as you can see behind me, on Black Rock Road, and there is plenty of parking on both sides. This is a great spot to park your car, get out, and cheer me on. The next spot where it, you can stop and, and cheer me is what right, right around what I call the Yardley Waterfall. Now, it's not really a, a waterfall, but uh, that's East Afton Ave right behind me. And this is a great spot. There's a bench there. You can hang out. And there's the waterfall right there. So it's kind of the Yardley, <laughs> the Yardley Waterfall, but uh, great spot you can go to starbucks get some get some pumpkin spice lattes and come down here i'll be coming right through here uh on my way up to toward the washington crossing area and again this is right around mile 17 and a half here in yardley at the world famous the world renowned yardley waterfall Miles and miles and miles on the Delaware Canal towpath. After Yardley, I just keep heading north and right around mile 21, I get to a little bridge we gotta duck underneath to, to go under. It's always a little awkward when you're, when you're running, but that is 532 right there. That's the 532 bridge. And then when I emerge coming north, uh, I'm gonna be right again, like I said, at mile 21, and I'm at Washington Crossing State Park. And the best way to, to get here is to park right over at the Heritage parking lot. You can park over there, and then there's two walkways where you can just walk right up. It's maybe 100 yards, and this is a great spot on the canal path. Uh, I'm gonna continue heading that way. I'm gonna run two miles north 
uh, to the 29 River Road Bridge and that'll put me at 23 miles and then I'll come all the way back to this spot and that puts me at 25 miles and then from here I will head into the park and to the finish line which we will go to right now. This is the final half mile in the marathon. I get off of the canal path and then I enter back into the park and I get onto General St. Clair Road and then I make a right onto General Mercer Ave and run all the way down there, loop around the main entrance area and make my way into the park. And then I am right here in the Valley of Concentration parking lot. And that is not a joke, you can look it up on Google. It is called the Valley of Concentration parking lot, probably because the, the restroom right there is called the Valley of Concentration restroom, all staples of George Washington's time period. This is the end, this is the finish. This is a great spot for you to come and, and cheer and celebrate and watch me pass out. <laughs> I mean, that's, uh, I'm laughing, but I don't know, that might, that might happen, but uh, this is the finish line. This is where everything is going to end on the journey to 26.2. So thank you so much for all of your support. If you have already partnered with me in support of EJI, thank you so much for doing that and for your financial contribution to that. If you haven't yet and you're still wondering what that's all about, make sure you check out the link in my Instagram bio. You can also find the link in the about section of my YouTube channel to find out what Equal Justice Initiative is all about and how you can be a part of raising money. 100% of the money that we raise on this journey to 26.2 goes directly to Equal Justice Initiative. Thanks so much for your support. Thanks for checking out the video. We'll talk soon.